going on guys? Justin Williams here with Dirt Time Adventures and today we're going to be covering the wiki up. Uh, this is part one of a two-part series so be sure to stick with me and we'll go through the wiki up. Um, this is a project we've been working on for a couple days now and just kind of spreading out as we have time. Um, got a lot of projects going on. Hopefully you guys have been following us on Facebook, seeing some of the progress here at our school. And uh, we are really excited about some of our upcoming courses. We have an uh, Applied Wilderness Survival course coming up at the end of the month. And then we got uh, a new course that we are often called the Essential Survival kicking off the 1st of November. So it's going to be a, a couple awesome courses we got coming up. Um, and we will cover shelter building uh, more in depth. So I encourage you, if you're interested in learning, how to build primitive natural shelters. Be sure to check out some of our courses. So from our framework you can tell that we simply have just here a conical uh, foundation and framework set up to build the wiki up structure. Now we've actually lashed this one together using heavy paracord um, but essentially you could actually use Y sticks and cross them creating a stable tripod that you could build this structure on with absolutely no uh, no uh, modern materials um, the reason we went ahead and lashed this one together though was because this is actually going to be used for our outdoor education sta uh, station for field trips and youth programs so we needed this structure to be extremely secure and have plenty of stability for having youth in it. We just can't take any chances. Now with our basic tripod in place, we simply begin to lay in more um, ribbings or sticks uprights along it in a circular fashion to be able to create this conical shape. Now, uh, a lot of the traditional wiki ups, they used um, rather large sized trees and then just stacked them right next to each other all the way around it. That essentially works great and provides plenty of insulation value um, and it's going to be a lot more sturdy and structured and rigid but it just requires so much more uh, tree um, and I really hate to cut trees if I don't have to um, but this is going to be a shelter that's actually going to be used for years to come not to mention the trees that were removed from our parking lot here at the facility instead of just burning them or pushing them off we actually put them to use. It took a lot more work, but we're going to get a lot more out of them. Um, but with this particular wiki up, we're actually going to have space in between. Um, that does allow it to breathe a little bit better for if you're wanting to have a fire in it. Um, but it's also because it's going to be breathable, it's going to give a little bit more. So you either have to pile on a lot more debris or you um, just take in um, and create you a nice leaf bed inside that you can build insulation value that way. Um, what we did once we laid all of our ridge poles in, all of our main beams, all, all of our poles and our uprights, then we began to weave the grapevine. If you just watched my uh, um, video last week on foragers find on the grapevine, we weave the grapevine in between each of the poles and that's what we have now for our structure. Um, now what I'm going to begin to do, because I don't have poles stacked right next to each other, what I'm doing with the grapevine is I'm providing stability, but I'm also providing um, places for thatching to attach. And so now we're going to have the intertwined thatching, but now I'm going to wrap it with the leaves on because I'm actually going to use them for insulation value um, and to provide more twigs and stuff for the thatching to hang on to. I'm going to begin to wrap the wiki up in the grapevine. So we're at the property today and uh, 
that's where we're working here for the wiki up and collecting materials and as you're going about um, always keep your eyes open because you never know what you're going to find anything from wild edibles to bones that you can use for stone tools to rocks um, found some quartz that you can make stone tools out of um, and so there's resources all around you if you keep your eyes open Remember what I was telling you about resources? Turkey feather and some more bone. It's just everywhere. So you just keep your eyes open. Um, as you're out and about, you can find all kinds of stuff. Here's a bone right here that looks like a rib bone that I could easily sharpen and make an awl out of. So resources all around this guy. Well, now that we got the wiki up wrapped, it's time to begin to thatch it. Um, there's all kinds of thatching materials that we cover more in detail in our classes, uh, but today we're actually going to be using cedar boughs. Um, unfortunately, it's not very abundant in this region as far as where we're located. It's more a pine hardwood forest, um, but there are some cedars, and we should be able to get it at least layered in cedar, and then we will um, probably have to use some other debris material to insulate it. That pretty much wraps up today in finishing up part one of the wiki up and uh, put in a lot of work today. This thatching takes a long time. It's a very tedious process, um, but there's kind of a technique to it. And once you get the technique down, it goes a little bit faster and understanding the best way to get it put in there. Um, but uh, overall, got the bottom half completely thatched one layer. And what we typically would do was would thatch the second layer and then uh, or thatch the top and then we'd come back with our second layer um, but we're going to be using some different materials probably uh, to help give it some more insulative value so uh, real good day today had an awesome harvest of muscadines going to be bringing them back to Mrs. Dirt Time she's going to be excited about that 
And uh, let me give you a walk around real quick and we'll wrap this video up. Here's my awesome collection of muscadines. Eventually we'll stage these picnic tables everywhere. So, uh, second half still has to be thatched, but as you can see, she is really beginning to take shape. All right, guys, well, that wraps it up. You can see a few gaps. So until next time, I want to encourage you to keep it practical, primitive, and prepared. Mm -hmm.